Hello, friends, and welcome. This is the second and final part of our tread swapping little mini series here. Last time we talked about how it works, why you might do it, the points on the slide. If all of that makes sense to you, great. We are on track for this video, which is going to be about how we can make tread switching an easy habit to incorporate into our games. So first, let's talk about some considerations. Let's make it easy on ourselves. I recommend putting power treads on a hotkey that is going to be pressed by your index finger or thumb. If you use your ring finger or middle finger to press treads, that is fine, but it might be a little harder. So here's a layout from our hotkey video. Most of the time, spells are on Q, W, E, R. And so a lot of these we press with our ring and middle finger. If you have to press treads twice, let's say you put it on Z, so you're doing all of this with your ring finger. You have to press Z twice, then press Q, then back to Z to get back to your, let's say, agility. That can be a bit of a pain to like move your finger like that. But if you use your index finger, or maybe your thumb on the space bar, F twice, Q with your ring finger, and then F again. It's a little easier on the fingers. If you want to use the same finger for all of it, that's fine. I'm just going to throw out this recommendation. If you have the choice, I think it doesn't hurt to separate it a little bit. Now, the next thing I want you to think of or not think of is the order of power treads. So they do go agility, strength, intelligence, agility, strength, and so on every time you press the uh, button. But that can throw people off a little bit because they may not remember the order all the time. And so they think... Like, it gets to them, and they're like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to press, so then I, I don't want to tread swap. Don't think of it like that. Don't worry about the order. Just think of it like a combo. So, let's say you're on agility treads. We want to cast a spell, which means we want to switch it to intelligence treads, then back to agility. Don't worry about the order. It is simply going to be two button presses of the power treads. For me, it's F. F, F. Whatever the spell is, Q, F, back to agility. And then we were at agility the whole time. Strength hero. I want to cast a spell. Don't think of it in the order. Just know power treads once, Q, F, F. I end up at strength treads. Now you can break it down if you want. You know, So we're at agility. We press F once. That brings us to strength. Press it again. Intelligence. We cast the spell still on intelligence. Press one more time, back to agility, strength treads, a very similar format. But I think if you worry about that order, it kind of gets to you. So like, I'll forget the order too. And if I, I have to sit down and think about it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the order. But instinctively, I know if I want to tread swap and I'm an agility hero, which I think most of the time, if you're tread swapping, you're probably agility. They're the ones who tend to buy power treads the most. I just double tap, spell, single tap. I don't think about the order. I just know... I do this every time I want to spell. Twice, spell, once. I, I didn't need to know the order at all, but I do know that that was how it was supposed to go. I thought about it beforehand, and now you guys, here it is. It is a combo. Simply remember this chunk together. It's going to be easier to remember this together when we go practice it. So let's go take a look at that. To do this, we are going to take Bristleback into a demo hero lobby. There is very little setup here, so it's uh, quite easy to do. If you're going to be here for a little bit, practicing maybe a few minutes, it's up to you if you use this, it's optional. You can disable creep spawn, use that command, and that'll prevent any more creeps from spawning. So to practice, we will, of course, need power treads, turn on free spells, and then take quill spray. This is why we're using bristleback. Quill spray does not need to be targeted, so we don't have to worry about our mouse right now. We are just going to use our left hand on the keyboard and practice these combos we talked about. So if you're a strength hero, the combo is to press F once, cast your spell, then press F twice. Your once, spell cast, twice. F, W, F, F. And you don't have to go that slow. If you're just getting into this, feel free to take it slow. Build up speed as you want. F, W, F, F. Break. F, W, F, F, break. I recommend like putting that break, that pause in between each combo just to really cement that this is the combo. Once, spell, twice. Once, spell, twice. 
And eventually, you'll be able to do it a lot faster. You don't have to check. Oops, I actually messed it up there. You, like if you're feeling unconfident, you might look and see like, okay, I'm on intelligence. It's now safe to use quill spray, then go back. The game doesn't need that pause. The game can handle it as fast as you can press it. So you can just run through it like a Mario Party game and spam these buttons in the correct order. That is the most important thing. Now, once you uh, practice that just sitting around a little bit, you can then open up a dummy target here. And our goal here is going to be to cast Quill Spray in between every auto attack. So hit. Just like that. Now, if you aren't going to play too many Strength Heroes, you can still practice on Agility, even though we're Bristleback. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. The combo is now double tap F, W, F. Double tap F, W, F. Same thing. You can uh, hit this guy. And in fact, you can even uh, grab yourself a Gloves of Haste to make it a little harder to up the tempo. I recommend not too fast. Otherwise, you're just like spamming through it. But we're going to do the same thing. I was a little fast there. You can use the auto attack sound as your... Uh, marker to do the combo double tap spell one one more tap do all this stationary don't worry about moving your hands and everything just get the combo down with your left hand another stationary practice thing we can do maybe buy some regions so we don't die here summon a hero so like axe will do now just have axe attack us on agility treads we said that being on strength would be ideal for taking damage. So we are going to switch to strength and then back to agility between every auto attack. So once, double tap. 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 We're just going to keep doing it. You can run through this hundreds of times in a few minutes, which is way better practice than trying to do this in-game live and you never remember uh, until it's like too late now one more stationary thing we can practice if you have a bottle or magic wand and say you're a strength or intelligence hero you want to switch to agility before using those healing items so let's say we are strength we want to double tap magic wand one more tap double tap wand one tap double tap wand one tap and you're just going to do this uh, if you want to do it from int, it's going to be one, two. Just do it. Just run through it. You can do it a lot of times in a very short period of time. You're just building the muscle memory so that when you think, I want to use wand, you don't have to think, what is the tread swapping order? What do I have to press? It is simply... And you, you don't think about it anymore. You just know that I want to heal. This requires me to press F, G, F, F. And, like, the order, none of that, didn't worry about any of it. I simply press these buttons very quickly, and I heal, and I'm happy. After that, then you can start worrying about moving. So let's say you're an agility hero, and now you can start moving around, pretending you are chasing someone. Double tap, spell cast, F. Double tap, spell cast, F. This way, this way, this way, this way, whatever. You know, chasing heroes all of that now we start moving in your right hand uh, you want to practice some other stuff you could pick a different hero let's take a uh, wraith king let's practice a blink like this let's give ourselves a ward too so let's put treads here blink here our stun if we're a strength hero and on wraith king it's pretty important to uh, conserve your mana for your reincarnation so we want to tread swap our combo is to blink press f once stun Press F twice. And we're just going to do that a couple times. Hit him. Reset. Break up the combos. Hit him. Reset. Oh, I yeah, misclicked. That's why we practice. And now we're getting into, like, actually, like, playing the game. Where, okay, I blink. Like, I'm doing the motions. Yes, this is in a controlled setting, but... We're not just stationary anymore. We've practiced the combo um, while standing still. Now we're starting to move around a little bit. Oops. Like that. 
And you can do this with anyone. Luna, uh, she does it. Sniper, Slark. There's a lot of heroes that want to tread swap. Pick anyone you play and try it out. And that's kind of it. Those are the exercises. Just run through it. Just doing it while stationary helped me a lot on Bristleback. Um, mixing in this little movement stuff, I think, is honestly kind of optional. You can just play the game and work it in that way. But if you I, if you want to practice it, I, I think that's great. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Give these a shot. I think it'll help if you're not confident with your tread swapping. I really think sitting down for a little bit, it's just way better practice. Sitting down for 10 minutes is the equivalent of like dozens of games you would have to play to tread swap that amount of time. Uh, and so practice it matches that other video we did practice first then put it into uh play and it'll help you out thank you see you guys